What we have strived to do is, is utilize a new technology, which is hot melt extrusion, and take that technology and also combine it with a new or novel uh, delivery system. And putting those kind of two-prong approach together, be able to uh, get THC and other drugs into the bloodstream uh, so that they will become more uh, bioavailable and the, the patient won't have to take as much of the medication as they would need if they took it by mouth or orally. When it's taken orally, uh, the blood levels, you might have 20 people, and the blood levels of those 20 people will be from zero to way above even the toxic levels. So what we uh, have striven to do is, is uh, level out those blood levels where, where when you give it to uh, people, you apply the patch uh, in the mouth, that it's uh, delivered at a rate that is consistent and that the, uh, the, the patient you know, sees a, uh, the dosage that they're supposed to receive. Cobra Grant was uh, instrumental in, in providing the seed money that we, uh, that we needed. Uh, without it, I'd have to say we would not have had the opportunity to, to seek this, uh, uh, these two approaches and, and, uh, and obtain uh, what, we, what we've obtained. So uh, I'd say with, without it, it would have been uh, uh, extremely difficult. The advantage that we have here is, uh, is our uh, expertise in hot melt extrusion. We do have here uh, at Ole Miss, and so we are kind of way ahead in, in, a, in a number of ways uh, in being able to pursue that. In the early 2000, uh, you know, we were the only ones that were really uh, focusing on, uh, uh, on trying to achieve that and we've, uh, uh, well, with other drugs. And so we've, you know, with Cobra coming in, we've been, been able to, to utilize it to, again, give us that opportunity to move things, move things forward. And we've kept ahead of the, of the curve, so to speak. Uh, so we're very unique uh, here in that respect.